The true car you can find with other people in your area paid for the same car you're looking for. Save three grand off MSRP. New or used doesn't matter. True car. By the way, I watched the Celtic Lakers last night. I think Lonzo Ball's fine. I don't think he. Uh, I think he needs. You know, here's a prime example. Some of these guys break into this league. Gordon Hayward averaged five points a game his first year, but he played at Butler. Then he went to the NBA, and he he was a low profile player. Uh, Gary Payton struggled his first year. Jalen Brown last year couldn't shoot threes for the Celtics. This year he's shooting like 41% on threes or higher. A lot of these guys that do one and done, they're not physically ready for this league. People love Kyle Kuzma. Kyle's like 24, three years at Utah, nutrition table, working out. He has an NBA body now. So Kyle Kuzma comes in. I think Kyle's ceiling's pretty low, but he's already closer to his ceiling. Whereas Brandon Ingram and Lonzo Ball come out. Brandon Ingram, his first year in the NBA, dude, he's skinny jeans. He weighs like a buck fifty. He's six eleven. Brandon Ingram looked overwhelmed as a rookie for the Lakers. Completely overwhelmed. Remember, I brought him on the set, and I was like, "Dude, you need to eat a sandwich like every minute of your life." Like he was way too thin. He's put on about ten pounds. He looks better. He looked really good last night. This is what I say about Lonzo Ball. Lonzo's long and quick, and has great vision. And has great handles. Um, and can beat you off the dribble. But right now he cannot finish, and he's lost his confidence shooting. But you got to give these guys a year in the league. Brandon Ingram looked overwhelmed. Kyle Kuzma looked like he can play. Do you know the difference between one year in a weight room and three? Mm -hmm. One year at a nutrition table and three? But now Brandon Ingram on the road. Ritz Carlton's eating steaks, little alcohol, you know, lifting weights every day. Lakers, those protein shakes. All of a sudden you wake up, you're 11 pounds heavier. Mm -hmm. The second year, you put on another nine pounds. 20 pounds of muscle, you're a different player. So Lonzo's got a lot of really good qualities. Length you can't teach. He is NBA length. He's a six five and a half point guard, and he is long. And for his size, he is quick. He is a tremendous rebounder, although that's not that crucial. He's got amazing vision, really great handles. He has no confidence in his jumper whatsoever. Uh, could he end up being Ricky Rubio instead of Jason Kidd? Possibly. But there, I always say, don't fall in love with records and stats. Fall in love with qualities. Like Sam Darnold at USC. I hear this all the time about Sam Darnold. Well, he lost this game, and he lost this game, and he lost this game. Sam Darnold has qualities the NFL like. He's six three and a half. He's a playmaker. He's got a thick body. His family is a working class, tough, bottom line, ethical, great group of people. He's not highfalutin. He's not distracted. Sam Darnold is all about football. He played linebacker at one year in high school. He's tougher than a three dollar steak. Sam Darnold's got great qualities to be an NFL quarterback. John Elway had a losing record at Stanford. Carson Palmer had like a bad junior year at USC. Doesn't matter. The Lonzo Ball's got the right quality. You can't teach 6'6 six, six and those handles. Change. Now, Ben Simmons, as I predicted, is a better player than him because he's a better athlete. But you can't teach speed. You can't teach handles. Like, this kid is so comfortable with a basketball. And, like, like for the record, not everybody in the world is a great shooter. You know, Draymond Green's become a better shooter, fourth, fifth, sixth year in the league. There are very few Steph Currys that just walk into this league and can shoot. But it, it was Steph Curry's dad was a great shooter. We know about Lonzo's dad. He wasn't a great NBA player. He wasn't an NBA player, period. Holly with the news. No, 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 no. Turn on the news. This is the Herd Line News. Uh, Cam Newton, he was asked about Kelvin Benjamin and just losing players in general, and he responded with,